Who could win the NCAAs at 184 pounds now that Zahid Valencia is indefinitely suspended for this season? Who could win at 184? This is a weight class that's very, very open. And by open, I mean there are guys who have beat and lost to each other this entire season uh, or have had at least tight, close matches with each other where I think that given the right weekend, any one of them can win. And that's a really a lot of what we see come come March. So first of all, who are the top five ranked wrestlers at 184 pounds right now as it stands? Well, the top five ranked wrestlers right now with the Heat of Valencia out are Taylor Luan, Hunter Bolin, Trent Hidley, Lou Dupre, and Nino Bonacorsi. These are the top five ranked wrestlers in the country. And, and last week, you know, this is something that, was different even last week and uh but who which one of them could win a title well i think a lot of them could win a title and i'll go through these top 10 actually ranked guys who i believe could win a title first up though is luhan luhan uh, is the first guy that i want to discuss because he's 24 in two on the season he's a senior now he does have losses to hydley in bolin uh but he actually ended up beating bolin later on in in uh, just a little bit later, so he does have that win. Bolin was sitting at the number one ranked spot this week until a loss to Nino Bonacorsi of Pitt. Now, like I said, uh, Luhan is a, a strong wrestler. He has two wins over Taylor Venz this season, a major in the duel, and a win over him at the Cliff Keen Las Vegas tournament. He's wins over Angel Morgan at Midlands. Uh, he was sawed also at Midlands, and yes, he he had a very strong Midlands tournament. So that's a guy who I believe is very important at that weight class. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next up is Hunter Bolin. Hunter Bolin is a wrestler who uh, has has had another strong season. He is a sophomore, win and loss to Luhan uh, at Cliff Keen Las Vegas. You know, like I said, back and forth with those two. A win over to Prey, 8-3 victory. Uh, a win over Andrew Morgan, who's now ranked at that number eight spot. Uh, and Trent Hiley, he had a 3-1 to match with him. A 3-1 to match with him where he won, uh, which kind of gives weight to now Hidley. And Hidley, uh, like I said, I think these tight matches are very, very important. And uh, Hidley is now 20 two and three on the season red shirt freshman so he's a freshman we could see win a title at this weight uh Hidley has losses to Bowen this year losses to Valencia who's you know there's that whole scenario and also to pray but he also has a win over to pray uh he wrestled him in tiebreaker I and mean, both the times he's wrestled them it's been very very tight with a win over Luhan and a win over Bonacorsi so like I said this isn't just like one little triangle or one little thing I think like at, at a couple other weights like at 133 for example where you have you know one triangle with like Gross, DeSanto, and uh, Rome Bravo Young. This, you have just a whole massive web of like who the heck could win here. And I think any one of these guys could win. But, th but there are more. There are more. Let, let me let me tell you. Uh, next up is Dupre. Dupre has been a wrestler who has really come alive this season. Uh, he's a sophomore, made the round of 12 in the past with a win over Darmstadt, who Darmstadt wasn't all, he wasn't all American in the past, but he, he actually is a wrestler who bumped up this year now to 197 pounds, was at 184. At Cliff King Las Vegas, Dupre had a loss to Hidley and Zahid, um, as well as a win in loss to Taylor Venz this year. A win in the quarters at Cliff Keen Las Vegas and a loss by fall for fifth place. So that was kind of an unfortunate situation for him. Now, the other wrestler that I think has, wow, kind of surprised me this last couple of weeks. And it's funny because doing these notes early, uh, Bonacorsi, originally I said he hadn't beat any big names this season, but now he just beat Hunter Bullen, who was the number one ranked wrestler uh, last week with Valencia excluded. So he beat Bullen 10-8 in tiebreaker, high-scoring match. 
uh, last duel of the season, giving us some interesting topics to discuss going into this postseason. Now, he does have a loss to Dupre as well as to Andrew Morgan. Last year, he made the round of 12. He did have a win over Renan, Emery, and Ness earlier on in the season. That was last year, of course, but it's just showing that Nina Bonacorsi has a strong caliber. He is a high caliber wrestler. Next up, the guy that I would like to discuss is Aaron Brooks. Aaron Brooks has been hitting his peak at this point in the season. Uh, now, Brooks is 11-1 on the season. He has he does have a loss this season to Vens. Uh, is a true freshman. Um, put his red shirt this year and has wins over Bronigal. Assad, which I think that was one of his most impressive wins of the year, was over Assad in the Iowa duel, over Johnny Sebastian, and over Rocky Jordan. Rocky Jordan was, I think, his most impressive win, and why I say he's really hitting his peak, because he just majored uh, Rocky Jordan. Now, yes, Jordan is a freshman also, uh, and yes, you know, Brooks does have a loss to Taylor Venge, who's a little bit lower in the rankings now, but just something to note, m- making those freshman mistakes, but Brooks is a guy to watch out for at 184. And the next guy on the list is Caff- Caffey. Cameron Caffey, a, another young guy. It's, it's just a really young weight, another sophomore uh, with with over 20 wins on this season. We had the round of 16 last year as a freshman. This year, he's lost to Embry, Harvey, uh, Wiseman and Zach Carlson. So, like a couple of, but he does have wins over Vens, over Bronigal, uh, who majored earlier this season, over Saad and over Sebastian. So, like, he does have some strong caliber wins uh, in Caffey, but he also does have some uh, unfortunate losses, which are kind of hurting his uh, overall record. But Caffey, I think, has been exciting to watch. A uh, guy kind of like to pray, where we've seen both of these guys kind of come up in the rankings and, and be exciting guys to watch. And although uh, Caffey did beat Andrew Morgan, we did see Andrew Morgan beat Nina Bonacorsi at the beginning of the year. Now, Morgan uh, has placed and, and done really well in tournaments like Navy and like uh, Midlands, in, as well as the Southeast Open at the beginning of the season. Uh, now, one of, the, I think, the toughest brackets of the year at, at just kind of open tournaments was at Navy whenever at 184 pounds. You had Andrew Morgan, you had Caffey, you had Bolin. I mean, this was just a loaded weight class, as well as a couple of other guys spread here and there. Morgan does have losses to Caffey as well as Bolin on the year, but the one thing I want to mention is his loss to Bolin was an 11-10 to 10 that went into overtime. So a high-scoring match where... You know, just one point away, and we could see that that match shifted and switched up right away. He does have losses in the season to Lujan as well as to Wilkie, who, yeah, Wilkie's not wrestling anymore, uh, but just something impressive. He he had a he wrestled well against the Heat Valencia. He had wins over Marcus Coleman, uh, two wins over Waddell, as well as to Army Stewart. So that. Uh, Andrew Morgan is another tough guy to watch out for come this postseason. Uh, and, you know, a couple other guys just to mention of note at 184 is Assad, who had a solid Midlands. You know, it's really yet to be seen what I was going to do. We saw Nelson Brands wrestle this past week. But with Assad uh, pulling his red shirt in January, I, I most likely see him wrestling in the postseason. And it, it'll be interesting to see how he does. As well as a guy I've mentioned a couple times already in Taylor Venz. Uh, Venz is a former All-American. And out of everybody I've mentioned so far, I believe is the only All-American at this weight class. And he does have a, a win over Darmstadt, who, yes, he's up away. A win over Brooks, as well as two Embry. So this is a loaded weight class, and I think anything could happen here. Please let me know, who do you think is going to win 184 pounds? 